Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bright Torian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn on the PlayStation 5. So Laura's over here putting on our wooden place. So you to can get have the floors fancy done. Fancy floors. So we can have fancy floors, yep. Even though there's nothing wrong with the stone. They're just being the crab babies. <laughs> yeah, I think the stone's fine. I guess it does look kind of dungeony. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, not like a, a cave, like they said, but yeah, a little bit like a dungeon, I suppose. So we'll get all this constructed. So one thing that was mentioned in the comments that we could attempt to do is uh, change up their their food priorities so that... Oops. So like the, the tasty meals, the only people who eat those are the people who get the extra bonus for that. And so I think we might do that so that buttermelon pie would just be for Ember and she basically just eats buttermelon every single day, all day long. Oh, wow. <laughs> and she's then just going to eat pie? I guess she would lose the penalty if she only ate pie. She would lose, she, or she would get that penalty, I mean, for not having variety. Oh, yeah. Anyways, then the meat stew would just be for Quinn. However, I don't want to do that since those are the tasty meals and we don't have the bread yet. So we got to wait until we at least get some bread. That's all my people want to eat is bread. Just bread. Just bread. The pie goes bad because Ember's just like, give me them carbs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take their break here. I Ember's going to make a snowman. Ember and Quinn's going to kick a snowman. <laughs> going to pet Daisy. So. Oh. <laughs> In my game, I named one of my cows Daisy. I was like, mm -hmm. that sounds familiar to me. <laughs> <laughs> so Daisy 2.0. <laughs> so we've never... I actually seen them make the snowman from the beginning here. You've got no sleeves, Ember. You're gonna freeze to death. Let's pick that up a little bit. Don't be wasting a carrot. Well, I'm like surprised at the development of it. Oh, he's got sticks for hair. That's yeah. cute. The snowman has been made. Laura's playing darts. And Connor's over here sleeping. So we do need to get all these moved here. And what we could do is move them into this area. Mm -hmm. But then we'd have to put flooring down. And I don't know what all we're going to put here anyways. Chairs. I'd put a closet. Some storage. I was thinking about putting the, the one things here. Up against the wall. Of course we'd have to windows? move. I mean, yeah, I imagine you'd want some windows. Like We could put a window right here. I guess I'm gonna keep it playing here while we do this. So like if we wanted to maybe put a window here in the uh, kitchen. Hmm. And put a windowy window. Yeah, I don't really like that one. Yeah, like one of these windows or even mm -hmm. how tall are the tall windows? Well, okay, they're like... Yeah, they're like floor length. So I suppose we just put a regular window here then. What do you think? Like the metal or the wooden? I, I guess everything's the wooden. wooden. Can't really have it be perfectly in the middle, unfortunately. So no, let's have you it would be. just need two windows if you wanted that balance there. Yeah, which I suppose we could do. Why not? So yeah, we'll get those windows put in place. So eventually somebody will build that. And then we need to move these let me put let's see how we want to do this put this one right here and then move this one over to this side you can put it on the wall over here i suppose because yeah we gotta clear this wall up if we're gonna put the craft and stuff over there so we'll get all those moved and then let's go ahead and bring the craft and stuff in because apparently having these indoors also impacts how well they they do at them. Oh, really? So if I had known that, then we would have had this in place a long time ago. Uh, had this indoors so they'd be a bit more efficient. I guess we could put this one over here somewhere. Right here. So move that and then put the two crafting stations. I don't know if they can both fit there, but I feel like they should be next to each other. Let's move these over here. Be I don't nice know if they'll be able to get to the other one. They should be able to talk. Yeah, yep. 
and the other one is this workbench here. And everybody's doing uh, yard work today. Yeah, they should be able to get to that. In real life, I mean, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear all the uh, the sounds outside. The leaf blowers and yeah. the lawn mowers and the hedge clippers. Everybody in this neighborhood doesn't rake their leaves. They just blow the leaves off into the neighbor's yard. That's how they do things so that's here. that's nice. <laughs> yeah. You should probably close those windows. <laughs> oh, are those open? Yeah. yeah, we don't want those open. Uh, so let's get both of these closed. And then we'll build some more. Nobody's going to prioritize that. There we go. <laughs> <They're> like, oh. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do some uh, windows in here as well. So where do you think we should put these? Oh, these are all obstructed. Yeah. You can't have them behind it? No, I guess not. Or maybe they can't get to maybe it. Maybe they to can't build get it. to it to build it, so you'd have to do it before you did it. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see how that could be an issue. Hmm. I mean, it's a big room. You might want to keep it closed off anyway, at least while it's cold. I thought the windows didn't have any effect. Well, they do if they're open, but. Yeah. I don't know if they do if they're closed. I don't think they do. It says it keeps on the heat in oh, okay. uh, on the description, and you told me that, too. Last episode, I asked you, and you said, yeah, they, huh? they, okay. it's fine. Because <laughs> I was I'm worried sure about it. it's fine. Did you just tell me that, and you didn't even know it? I don't know Jinx what I know. know what she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what should we put in the middle here, all this open space? Like some seating or whatever? Yeah. Where would that be at? And furniture? Leisure or furniture. So we got armchairs. Those are options. Is Those there a are couch? Nice. No, it's just armchairs. I see. They do require metal metal alloys, so there is that. Okay, I see. So there's a leather one. Which one do you think we should put? The synthetics or the leather? Uh, how much synthetic stuff do you have? I don't actually know what we have. We can take a look in here. Uh, we have 35 synth synthetics currently. I'd probably go with leather then. Can't you make synthetics, though? I mean, you can eventually. Do we not have the tech for that? Yeah, I think it's got to be researched. I was going to butcher this. Yeah, I think he just died in your traps. Yeah. So we're going to get that butchered. Uh, also, another thing that Jinx learned is that the flamethrower is constantly using fuel. Yeah, I didn't know that. And so we need to keep it disarmed when we're not actually using it. Uh, and then another thing... Well, I got this disarmed. Let's go ahead and move this. Because what's happening... So let's move it over here. So what's happening here is that we can't move it over here because it's considered to still be within the zone of control or whatever zone of attack. Oh, so it's in Of its the own current way. one. It's in its own way, as stupid as that is. Oh. That's really dumb. But that seems to be the issue here, guys. So we should be able to just move it, and then move it again. Yeah, from what uh -huh. I've seen, it's just the gate getting in the way. I don't know, that's what, yeah, that's what somebody told me in the comments. But yeah, it still says the wooden gate is the problem here. I have my flamethrowers, like, on the outside, like, pointing off to the side. Yeah, well, I was going to have a whole little elaborate yeah. kind of system like here. Yeah, like, I've but got one on each side there to just really roast them. Yeah, that's clearly what we're going to have to do here, guys, because, yeah, that, that was not the issue. Somebody said that with such confidence. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, what the problem is. I thought they, they really knew that that for sure was the issue. I haven't been able to get it sandwiched between the gate like that, but... Okay, well, it's over here now, which is probably a better location anyways. So we've got everything moved. We need more leather. So we need to get more of this stuff here harvested. Oh, have you... Oh, wait a minute. Harvest not right yet. Oh, okay, oh, so these aren't... Sure. Okay, I see. Can we not get any of this during the winter? Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Okay, so I guess we can't you could get try any of that. highlighting it to see if there's any that's harvestable, like that whole group. But yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I think maybe it has. Not. You can see it's all at uh, a really low percentage here. Yeah, winter's pretty rough as far yeah. as like growing stuff. We're not gonna be able to get any of that as you as you'd expect. 
She's still out here fertilizing. Didn't I tell her not to fertilize? I could have swore I did. <laughs> stop, Laura. Yeah, don't do that. We're using the, the poop for fuel. Oh, that meat slab sitting over here. I was like, who fed the meat slabs? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we still need leather. So we are only able to get one pair of boots done. Okay. So I guess we will have somebody put that on. Whoever is coldest, which I think is Ember, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look here. Yeah, I think that's going to be the coldest. Oh, because she's just wearing tennis shoes. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and get her the boots. That should help her out. Plus her shoes are almost completely worn down as it is. So yeah, Much she got better. those on. She's feeling a little bit better. But yeah, overall we, we need a lot of uh, a lot more leather to get these clothes done. But yeah, we don't have the ability to make the veggie leather anymore. Well, there's still the, the hides over here. I think we used it all. Yeah, we just got the yeah, meat being turned into dry meat. We have 55 leather and mm. 85 veggie leather. And those are both interchangeable. Yeah, so let me just see what's going on here. With the, uh, oops, that's not the right one. Yeah, it says it doesn't have enough resources. Which resource are we lacking? Um, hmm. I know you don't have any fabric. You don't have cloth. Do we not have cloth? Yeah, you're out of cloth. Oh, okay, so I, I was all worried about the leather and it's mm -hmm. the cloth that we're short on. Okay, so how do we get that? Um, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get that? I suppose we could break down anything we have. But yeah, the sneakers, I guess, could be broken down. But yeah, other than that, I don't know if those will get too much cloth, but let's see here. Let's break these down. That'll give you 10 cloth. Uh, the trousers can be broken down. I don't know if that's 30 each. Yeah, I think so. It'll get us enough. And then break down the spaceship jackets are all terrible. As far as like their uh, current shelf life. Will the bandage give you anything? Yeah, you can get 14 cloth from the bandages. Because you don't really need those. I mean, yeah, we can break down some of those. But would it break down them all? I think if if you have it grouped like that, if you click that group items by type thing, or oh, uncheck okay. that, then you could do the individual. I see. So yeah, like if we just wanted to... Oh, never mind. No, that didn't, <laughs> that didn't do it either. Okay, well, that is what it is. And we have 71 here. So that might be enough to finish the shoes. We'll Somebody see. will get some shoes anyway. Yeah. I don't know how much each of these requires. Ten. So that's enough for them to get all, all the shoes done. Uh, so we don't have uh, Laura doing anything or or Ember. She's just sharing a childhood <laughs> memory with Laura. I uh, got Connor cooking. All right, so what do we want them to work on next? We didn't get any of the armchairs because we didn't have the stuff we needed. The cloth. So yeah, I could just do one leather chair somewhere. I never see more than one person sit in the chair anyway, so. <laughs> I've got three and it's always just one person. I one. hate that they can't, like it's not like centered. <laughs> it books me. But it's not centered, I guess we'll put it here. We don't know what else we're gonna fill this space up with. Uh, we never did get another heater. Yeah, you can probably use another heater. It's yeah. pretty chilly in there. Mm-hmm. So let's get this here copied. And place another one. I've got one in the middle of the room. Or two of them. <laughs> what, just like in the middle sitting here? Yeah. So you could do that. Put it right here. That'd be an option. Also could put it right here, though. Yeah, I would probably put it right there. Yeah, let's put it here. You could use more sticks, I guess, for fueling those stoves and fires. Okay, I mean, yeah, there's stuff out here that could be... Well, maybe not that. There's all this. So I haven't cut all this. Uh, we could also get rid of those if we're not going to use them. We could get rid of those uh, buildings we constructed here. Could deconstruct all this. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, there's a button just to deconstruct everything here. So that's handy. Just tear it down. Yeah. So I'm going to tear all that up. And then we'll get back. Somebody told me it was 50% of the resources, what you get. So get back any resources we used for this, which is mainly uh, wood and stone, I think. Still, though, you didn't have very much stone, so that would be helpful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'll just look better as well. Yeah, I wish I'd made this building bigger. I suppose we also need There's to send somebody on line. an expedition. So yeah, we'll send somebody out there. Maybe... Oh, let's let them finish all these objectives I just gave them. They're getting all those sticks. Deconstructing. So they kind of got a lot to do. So we'll let them finish this up. Uh, so a small flickering light can be seen in the distance, breaking the monotony of the darkness. It could be a campfire. Maybe there's another survivor out there. That's how I found my guy. So we should definitely go do that one then? Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's guaranteed that you'll get a person, but I'm not sure. Right, so Laura's sitting, so I feel like that means she's got time to go. <laughs> she's like, oh, never and now mind. She's going, for, she's going for I'm a up. drink. I'm she's going. going for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess we, we need to restart the... Uh, she should probably do that. So we can send somebody else. Uh, Ember hasn't gone out yet. She's snowball fighting. Whoa, wait a With minute. With who? She's chucking stuff at Connor while he, he's working. he works. Wow. <laughs> well, he's going to start oh, snowball fighting, yeah, too. Okay. <laughs> These two. That's funny. <laughs> he's like, I'm tired. <laughs> tired of your shit, Ember. You can carry the, <laughs> the right, sticks so, the rest so of the way. So Ember's going to go on this expedition, guys. So we'll do the, the campfire. But there's still the, the other things that we found out there as well. We didn't finish breaking down the cruise ship debris either. So yeah, we'll do this campfire and we'll see if we can find somebody. Although maybe Ember's not the best person to be an ambassador. She is in good physical <laughs> shape, but yeah, people don't like her. All right, so we'll send her out. Goodbye, Ember. You can start a snowball fight. Oh, now people. you're hungry? You weren't hungry when you were doing snowball fighting. <laughs> she, she brought a meal with her though, so she's good to go. I always grab a snack. Oh, best friends forever. What's that about? Who's best friends? Have a human bond with an oh. animal. Laura and Daisy. Maybe, yeah. I think you can see who they're bonded to on the left screen. Oh yeah, and she's still pregnant. Yep, bonded with Laura. I see. So they can only bond with one person? Yeah. Well, I don't know. They, I haven't seen them bond with more than one, but I would assume. Yeah, just the one. I wonder how long it takes for them to actually have the, the baby. As pregnant we saw, Draka. Draka? Which one's that? The like hammerhead looking ones. The one that you ate at the gate. <laughs> the one that I ate? The one that was stuck in your trap. Oh, this thing mm -hmm. here? Okay. You said you have a pregnant one, so you got a couple of those? Yeah. The males are huge. His name's Drax. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get some research going. This halves the fuel consumed by the hot air balloon during expeditions. Some uh, veggie armor. Let's see what all our options are through here. Anything you'd rec recommend that we get now? Um, like electricity. Yeah, we'll need that. A lot that... It's kind of a game changer. Yeah, that will require... See if there's anything else. Emergency the, rations. The oil extraction. Mm. Yeah. You can... Oh, uh, that's what you need to make the bread. Because you need the oils. Mm-hmm. You make butter. Okay. Yeah, I suppose we can do the oil extraction. So get that set up to be researched. There's brewing as well, which we could use the grains to make beer. Which would be good since we only have so many of those berries currently because I didn't plant any. So could do that. I suppose we'll get the electric grid. We'll get that research first. And then after that we'd have to do the solar panels. Well, you can't click on it until it's actually researched. Okay, so we'll just let it work on that for now. And I assume that will be Laura's task since we sent her to 
to prioritize that. And it looks like our expedition is complete. She found a survivor. Oh, right. Krista. I don't know which one that is. Yeah, I don't remember who that is. Oh, it's the kid. I think she's a genius. A kid? Let's take a look at her stats. Okay, so uh, no, no health issues that I'm seeing. So. Like a teenager, not a child. So she doesn't have. I mean, everything's full health, but yeah, she doesn't have any of the winter stuff. So that's a problem. Oops. And then these are her skills. Yeah, she's just super smart. Which we already have a super smart person. She's like a, a copy of Laura. <laughs> she's good at farming. She's smart. She can do the cooking. Okay, so probably not the best person. I guess she's not a teenager at all. She's 26. She's 26. She just looks like a baby. <laughs> she's a, a genius. And she's clumsy. She will not do crafting tasks. And oh, movement wow. speed is decreased by 10%. <laughs> she loves veggie stew. And she loves snowball fighting. Oh, well, her and Ember will get along. Okay, well, I feel like that is not the most useful person for us. <laughs> Especially because you want craft, which is what I really need is another crafter. Yeah. And she's completely incapable of crafting. Yeah, she's just a copy of Laura, essentially. It's like, great, another mouth <laughs> to feed. Yeah. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, well, we got another person. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. At least there's another set of arms to do stuff for us. Just not the things you need her to yeah. do. Yeah, <laughs> and so I guess we got to go through all her priorities and stuff. Uh, one thing we've never done yet. Oh, she's got hypothermia. Who does? Krista, because she's not wearing any clothes. I mean, we just got her, though. That's was, was kind of messed up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. So she comes and she's sick. It's going to consume all of, our, all of our resources. That's great. Oh, and we got to build her a new room. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she doesn't have a room either. Can I just, like, reject her now? It's too late. <laughs> like, no, shoo, shoo. Just put her over here in the cold. <laughs> just... <laughs> Move her over here. <laughs> She'll live in this okay. little area. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, we'd have to make our room and stuff. At least mm. there's that hallway you can expand upon. Yeah, which is what we'll have to do. Yeah, we'll just have to bring it down this way and bring another, put another That's room on smart. there. That's smart. I didn't have a hallway in mine. I just kind of <laughs> made a bedroom on a bedroom. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to get that done. Uh, but one thing I want wanting to work on here is uh, we've never done a schedule. And so I really feel like we should oh, yeah. set this up here. So how did you set yours up? Um, I had like two, two periods of relax. Like, I can't remember how many sleep. How I long had. do they need to sleep for? I don't know. I put like five. Because they can do anything on the anything one. So if they're really tired or whatever. Then they could sleep? Maybe I had six, because I had them, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll do, I th yeah, I don't know how much I need to sleep for. I tried to set it up with, like, realistic times of, like, what time they would go to bed and what mm -hmm. time they would get up. Yeah. Like, I would have them relax at work before they go to bed, or relax on the spots before they go to bed, so they can do whatever... At the end of the work day. Uh -huh. How much relax time do you think they need? I just put two blocks. Two blocks? Mm-hmm. And then the, then you got the work hours, and then maybe some anything hours here for... Yeah. Eating and... Or whatever you need to do. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks good. How many hours do we have them working currently? All the hours. <laughs> <laughs> we got 13 hours of work. It seems That's like a lot. That's fine got shit to do here 12 hours of work <laughs> and these are anything so they can still work there's no laws here <laughs> i think this looks good <laughs> so that should hopefully make them work a little bit better and then you know with the activities we've got a new new person so we need to get her uh set up uh which i guess would be oh wow they weren't kidding like she yeah she can't do them does not do them at all uh -uh, she won't do them Okay, well, cooking, she she does that. She knows she's okay at cooking. She's not the best at cooks, but yeah, we'll we'll put her on a on a two for cooking, I suppose. 
And then she can do the observe. Research. And we want her to do the research. So she'll prioritize that. And yeah, this other stuff, she's not... Uh, she's not physically impressive yeah. at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's not great at all this stuff. Oops. We wanted to <laughs> decrease decrease that. She can do the, the planting, though. Yeah, that'll be fine. So yeah, we'll have her do that. She can do any ranch work. Feed critters. Uh, this is the cutting, so we'll have that deprioritized. She can do the harvesting. And she's okay at constructing, <laughs> I suppose. Like, she might not mess it up. And she's not a healer. I see. So probably just don't have her do that. Yeah. Alright, so that'll work. That looks good. I mean, she's not going to be as helpful as we'd want. So yeah, we got a message here that we do need a bed. So we'll get that constructed. Let's wait for them to get back first. Since everybody else is already doing stuff. You can yep. just throw a straw bed over in the corner there. <laughs> yeah, I think we might just throw a bed somewhere just so she'll have one. So yeah, for now we'll just put a straw bed in here. Oh, we can make a fabric one. But we're not gonna. No. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just gonna sleep right here. For now. And then eventually we'll, we'll add this on over here. And yeah, we'll even mark it as her bed. As soon as it's done being constructed. Alright, so she's here. And look at she's getting right to work. She's gonna handle the hot air balloon. Though she has hyperthermia, so. Yeah. I mean, she probably shouldn't even be outside, honestly. No. <laughs> until we get her some of this gear. Uh, well, we have some gear that she could put on that's at least better than what she currently has. I mean, her jacket's not terrible, it's 39. Yeah, it's not actually better any uh, better or worse than the spaceship jacket. All right, so we didn't get enough boots. This is probably better than her pants, though. 42. I guess not. Yeah, it's the same. It's all the same. So you can have her put the boots on, but that'll help a little bit. Her toes won't fall off. Yeah, at least her toes won't fall off. Uh, as far as who's going to get the next pair of boots... Should probably be, I guess, either Connor or Ember. Whose is more torn up? Well, she already has boots on. Oh, that's on. right. We just gave Ember yeah, boots. Yeah, that's right. Laura's just wearing crappy tennis shoes. What does he currently have? Synthetic boots? Okay. So I guess we'll put it on Laura. So she'll get those boots on as well. All right, let me see. Did we finish? We did finish. So we still need another pair of boots made, I think. But we should probably prioritize some other stuff. We still need hats. And we need sweaters. So you know what? Let's do sweaters. Although uh, Krista needs... What does Krista need? She has a I jacket. I think she's just wearing a t-shirt. We could do the fur coat for her. I don't think or, we have enough coat. fabric. Granted, I think that one will let you use the leather instead of the fabric. But We have a 51 claw. I think it'll be okay. So let's go ahead and make the coat. And then we'll want to set it up to use... Not to use the synthetic textiles. I can use well, any can of these. use it, the leather, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use the leather. Oh. I would not use the cloth on that then. Because cloth's harder to get right now? Yeah, and you should probably make a sweater for the people who are wearing t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, we want to get these sweaters going, and those require the cloth. Uh, we had, what was it, 60? I think it was like 51. 51, so we can make one of these then. Okay, so we'll just make the one for now. So we'll get those made. As soon as we got time. Uh, what about the the beanies? Well, it looks like fur caps are a little bit warmer than that. Yeah, the fur caps would be warmer. Uh, we got some aggressive animals. Uh, so what does this all require? So it seems we could do two of these, I think, if we have enough leather. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll get two of those constructed. Are those the scorpions coming? 
Dang, I haven't fought those yet. Okay, yep, we got the scorpions here. And they're right outside our base. Yeah, they are. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Be sure and turn your flamethrowers back on. Okay, so let's go and get that armed. That should be prioritized. And then... I suppose we want to wait till they actually start their attack. Yeah. Yeah, we'll they wait. They usually give you like a couple hours, but... Yeah, so we'll just wait until they actually start attacking. Just make sure nobody's like running off, doing something yeah. far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll keep them all inside here. Here they there come. There they go. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is just go ahead and... Well, Krista shouldn't be drafted because I don't think she has anything. Yeah, yeah we it have shouldn't to make her... draft her if she doesn't have a weapon. So if I hit draft all, oh, it won't draft her? It shouldn't. Yeah, it looks like it didn't. Okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get everybody... Put in place here. I'll have these guys protect right here. Or, no, Ember's gonna be up here. She's got the gun. And then we'll have Laura over here and Quinn over here. This will be interesting because I haven't seen the scorpions attack yet. Well, they have the ranged attack. And so what I'm hoping doesn't happen is that they just sit and attack Connor. Mm -hmm. We might have to bring him down. Because they might get right here and just start shooting at Connor. Yeah, they might. So basically, as soon as they walk in here, he's he should start shooting at them. He's got some great range, though. Yeah. Man, I'm so jealous of that sniper rifle. you still don't have anything like that yet. Yeah. So, I mean, he's taking him out with one hit. Oh, well, that one didn't. Keep going. Shoot her. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just worried that... They'll just sit up there and attack him. Yeah. Well, In that deflected. case, he probably would have to bring somebody out. I mean, so far he's doing all right. I think as long as the gate's open, they should. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, so we got something about electric grids. Okay. We've, we've already done. Well, this is new. Jinx could have used this because she was struggling <laughs> yeah. with the electric grid. Is it new or did it pop up when you researched it, but then you just didn't do anything with it? No, I don't think it popped up. I don't know. I don't think so. There you go. Get down, Connor. So yeah, he he's, said, being, Ouch. he's being attacked. And so we'll go here. They might attack Ember up there. They might. Hmm. <laughs> They're just going to hang out at the fence. That one's confused. He really wants Connor. He's like, ooh, he's a chonky boy. Yeah, see, they're just going to sit up there and attack us. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's one of the negatives. We need to bring her right here. These guys only need to be where they can fire at anybody who's stuck there. And then Connor. I'm sure he's right here. Like, come on, Leon, guys. So the flamethrower should kill. Get just some of that flamethrower. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they just stop the moment they have somebody they can fire at. Oh, it's too dark. They need to scoot up. No, oh, we're good. I think that's it. Oh, yeah. We got it. Oh, is that one out there dead? Yeah. Oh, I guess all those are dead. They I just mean, look you, alive. I mean, you can see on the messages here. That's that true. I don't trust it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so while we were doing that, Krista was researching. So she got that done. Uh, Connor's got some injuries, so he's going to need to get that taken care of. Uh, Chris is now petting Daisy. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get something else research in here now that we got that done. Solar panels. So yeah, probably something to produce some power. So solar panels would make the most, the most sense. And a battery. So yeah, we're going to get the solar panels going and then energy storage for the batteries. So we'll do those next. What do you need to produce these guns? Let's take a look here if it tells us. So that's the pacifier. Hmm. You need electronics crafting. I see. So where's the electronic crafting? Um, I want to say In that here somewhere? opens up some... Right here. Yeah. You got to find or produce silicone before we're able to do that. And Laura and Ember having a snowball, a snowball fight. 
Ember or Laura. Or, well, Laura's having a snowball fight. Yeah, she's <laughs> and trying. Ember's just trying to take a walk here. Laura can't so get her, So, we though. need to butcher all these. I get you that meat. Because this insect meat can apparently be used for some stuff. Yeah, I use all mine for fuel. Somebody's saying there's something else you can make from them. I can't remember what it was, though. You can make fat. Or, like... You know, the oils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there's something else. It wasn't that. There's something else. I'm not entirely sure what. Let's take a look and see if there's anything we can craft in here. Hmm. See, that's you can use any raw meat. Wouldn't that be insect meat, though? Well, yeah, I think you use that in like the oil press thing that you researched. Oh, okay. Where you can use the bug meat. Mm hmm. Okay, so what did we all just get researched? Let me just take a look here. Because we, we know we got the electric goods, obviously. Uh, but there was something else. We got the oil extraction. The oil extraction. So that unlocks the wooden oil press. Okay, so we're going to want to build that then. Anything else that we want to build? No. Alright, so let's go ahead and get that constructed. So that's all the heating stuff. Oh, that's a different stove, huh? An electric stove. That's cool. And then our oil press. Oh, I think the bug thing is in the fermentation barrel. What is in here? I think the thing that I'm thinking of that you can craft with the mm -hmm. bug meat is in the f fermentation I barrel. See. So let's go ahead and get... Obstructed access to another device. Can you not get... What's There's storage blocked? there, I think. Ground storage. I thought I removed that. Oh, okay, I didn't remove that. I wanted to remove it. Let's go and get that deconstructed. So yeah, we'll get rid of that. And then we can put it there. So what were you saying? What was in here? I think you can do something with the bug meat in there. We just don't have access to it yet. It's just sitting on the ground here. Some dried meat just sitting on the ground. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Connor's sick. Oh no! Is it his parasites? Let's deconstruct that. Oh, in regards to to Connor's parasites, his brain parasites, we were supposed to to try and remove those. That was real. Oh. Yeah. And so I don't know that you can do anything with it afterwards. Oh, he's just got them <laughs> forever. Yeah, I had read that people were having issues that they they said no initially and then they're like oh well now i want to get this solved and they couldn't but that could have been fixed because a lot of those posts were old yeah everybody's currently sleeping so nobody Connor's can just over here dying take care of him right now and nobody cares okay amber thank you oh well, so they they were sleeping jinx she's gonna get they him went to care bed of. knowing damn well connor needed the treatment but again i don't think there's any way for us to treat the the brain parasites now because we said no. Well, that's. And so you're supposed to say yes on that part. And we didn't. You know what? It said exactly what we researched right here. I'm not looking in there. It's off on the side. Uh, but yeah, that was unfortunately a mistake there. We shouldn't have uh, said that. But I didn't think it was real. I didn't either. <laughs> I didn't think he actually I mean, had... it seemed like he could be just crazy. Mm hmm. Oh, I think that meat is lying on the ground because we don't have enough storage for it. Maybe. It's possible. There's nowhere for it to be put. But I mean, like, there's all the storage up here, so I highly doubt it. They just didn't pick it up, Jinx. Okay. They just left it on the ground. Even stuff on the ground. That's what it is. Uh, we researched the solar panels, so we'll have to get that place. Also, th this has been taken care of, so let's go ahead and get that oil press in here. So we'll put it right there. So we'll get that done, and then we do need to get the power system set up. There's a lot to that, though. Yeah, there is. Yeah, we just got stuff sitting like all over the place. <laughs> we need more storage. They've been doing all this snowman out here. It was interesting seeing them all sleep now at the right time. Yeah. <laughs> and all sleep together and stuff. Like have a bedtime. Yeah, I'm hoping that this will result in them being more efficient and maybe happier as well because maybe they'll feel like they, they slept a bit more. Uh, yeah, you see his happiness is currently 82%. They're getting a nice little bonus from another survivor having joined them. So Krista 
is considered to have a spacious bedroom. <laughs> yeah, this is she, all she mine. considers the whole place okay. her bedroom. But you can see the huge difference. Look at the slept in the private bedroom. It's a plus nine compared to the plus 18 that she got from sleeping in. In the living in room. In the living room. <laughs> That's interesting. It's because it's the only bed there. Yeah. I almost feel like Chris just should stay there. <laughs> I the mean, hall. she's happy enough. <laughs> stay there in the hall. Uh, yeah, you see, everybody's a lot more happier now. Yeah, everything's doing. Uh, everybody's doing much better at this moment. All right, so yeah, we're getting all this stuff uh, broken down. It looks like we never uh, analyzed this. We never observed it. So let's have somebody observe it for first, and then we'll break it down. In fact, this is what we'll do. Let's do the one that's closer, and have that be observed. So unfortunately, that'll have to be it for today's episode. It might be a couple days before the next video since Jinx is working a lot this week. Um, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you have a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.